Ola Adani, I think I know the most interesting fact about you to start. There are players who will be in the 2021 draft who are actually older than you are. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> Let me kind of take the backstory and you correct me where I'm wrong, okay? All right, let's do it. You moved to the United States from Nigeria when you're eight. Sure. At first, they want to put you in fifth grade, two grades ahead of where you should be. But your mother uh, says, no, we're going to put him in fourth grade. They wanted me to, let me to put it in sixth grade, but my mom put me in fifth. Okay, so I was somewhat close. Yeah, somewhat close. Uh, yeah. The bottom line is, you graduate high school and you're 16 years old. Yeah. You're a soccer player. You became a football player somewhere in there. When did you start playing football? When you were 13 or 14? When I was 13, that's when I started playing uh, football. I got fat when I came into the States. So, like, at some point in time, it transitioned, and I just couldn't play soccer like that anymore. So coaches came and started recruiting me, calling on my mom, and eventually my, my uncle got out of cave in and finally got to go out there and get to play football. Who is Ola Adani as a player that Titans fans need to know? What are you going to add? Man, where do I start? <laughs> Olo Danny is a guy that brings a lot of energy on and off the field. You know, I'm a fun guy, but I'm also a guy that's ready to learn, also a guy ready to get better, very aggressive guy, and, you know, a guy that's ready to contribute and add to the Titan Nation, man. It's time to tighten up. <laughs> there you go. All right, so let's talk about why you love special teams so much because that's what you've been able to do mostly so far in your NFL career with the Steelers. What is it about playing teams that gets you going? Man, special teams, man, it changes the game. You can do everything on special teams. So, you know, why not, you know, bring the same energy to it that I can do to defense. And you're an aggressive dude. When you found football, you found hitting people was really a lot of fun, didn't you? It's the That's that's it. They tried me a tight end, but I ain't like that. Tried me an O line. No, sir. <laughs> Talk to me about your skills at outside linebacker because you're you're kind of the unpolished gem. You're you're sort of typical of what the Steelers have done over the years. They found all these guys who are six feet, six one, six two, two hundred fifty pounds, power players, maybe not built like the typical outside backers, but guys that find a way to get to the quarterback. What's your game like rushing the passer? My game, you know, is obviously different. You know, you know, I don't have the same length as somebody else or, you know, like a 6'5 guy. So I have to have a different aspect to my game, you know, and I feel like I bring quickness to my game. You know, I have the versatility to bring speed to power at any point in time, you know. So I still have the power game. You know, I bring a lot of that aspect too. And I have the aspect of playing inside linebacker as well. You know, I can move around. I can do a lot of things. So, you know, I still because I have the same body that an inside linebacker could have, you know, so there's a lot of versatility to my game. Why the Titans? Coach Vrabel played a linebacker. He knows the game. He, 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 you know, he played it at the top of the level. Um, and that's what I'm trying to get to my point of career, you know what I'm saying? And why not come learn from a coach like that, you know? And why not study? And then also having a guy like Bud go, you know, that's my dog. You know, we came from the same place, you know, we learned together, you know, and, and he's my OG, you know? And it'd be great to keep learning from my OG. What has Bud Dupree meant to you as a football player and as a person? It meant a lot. Even when I came to the league, I stayed in the same neighborhood Bud stayed. We was probably five houses down from each other. That's how close we were. He had the same mentality coming in, and he just taught me the game. and He just taught me how to get myself to the pro level. And, you know, I've just been able to learn from him. You know, in the locker room, our lockers was right by you, you know. So every day I would have conversations. You know, and we were just so close. And, we just went on a trip together for his birthday, you know? So it's like, you know, it's just great to be with him. And you know, we talked about this. I was like, bro, wherever you're going, I'll go. You know what I mean? So, and it's just, it's great to see it actually come through. You know, I'm just ready to go.